What's going down YouTube? It's your boy that boy that clean finally back with another video Y'all have no idea the stuff that I've been through Woo! First of all uh, Feels good to be back making a video But I gotta say I am very disappointed if you remember my last video I had uh, well, I don't think it was my last video. Anyway, the last wolfing video I made, if y'all seen, I went in on that long wolfing session. I was going for, what was it? I was going for like 12 weeks. I only made it to 10 weeks. I went, got a haircut, and got completely chopped up. I don't know what my barber was doing. I don't know what went wrong. And it, it's just, my hair was completely messed up. So I ended up cutting it. I had to cut my hair like kind of low. And start all over again. My weak side is my left side. My left side was completely jacked up. I had just got my left side to come in strong when I was wolfing. It's all messed up now. Waves is going everywhere. The back, front, whatever. And so what happened was um, after I got my hair cut, it looked good. You know, after after you get your hair cut, you look in the mirror. Your barber give you the mirror. You look. You kind of look. It was cool at the barber shop, but when I got home. And I got close in the mirror. I was like, man, my edge up kind of messed up. I saw I, was, I had three or four plugs on the left side. I'm talking about like plugs where some of my hair was thick. The other of it was like real low. So I was like, man, I went ahead, just chalked it up as a loss. And I, I had to start over. I've been working long days. I haven't had time to make, you know, videos or whatnot. But anyway, to make a long story short, uh, I'm just coming back with a quick tip for y'all or whatnot. Um... A lot of people ask me how they get their hair to lay down. Um, and so they'll inbox me like, you know, that boy that clean. How do you lay your hair down? How do you prevent frizz and stuff? So I'm like, oh, that ain't nothing, you know. Go ahead, do your brushing like you normally do. Get on that plastic bag method. Do rag and you good. And they, you know, everybody was replying back like, what do you mean plastic bag? Plastic bag, what are you talking about? And I'm like, y'all don't know what, y'all don't use a plastic bag every night? They're like, no. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, that was my fault. I, I didn't realize I never told y'all about it. I thought most waivers already knew. But anyway, I got this uh, from my main man, Justin Richardson. We call him Jay Rich. I believe his YouTube channel is uh, STL Waiver 314 or something like that. Uh, if that's not right, uh, I have the link right up there. Anyways, he's the, well, he's the first person I know. I don't know if he's the first person who came out with it, but I know he's the person that I got it from. What you do is, after you brush your hair during the day, at night, whatever, you get a plastic bag. Some people use like a grocery bag. I prefer like a sandwich bag, like the little bags that you put a sandwich in. I use the Ziploc bags now. Ziploc bags are a little more expensive. I don't know why I just like Ziploc bags. You do not have to have a Ziploc bag. You can use either a grocery bag or any generic, um, any generic sandwich bag. So what you do is, right after you get through brushing your hair, whatnot, you brush your hair. You get a bag just like this, just a plastic bag. Remember, this is right after you brush. Put your hand in the bag and you just go in. I usually go in for like a minute, two minutes, however long you want to do it, it's up to you. But you just basically go like this. You want to apply pretty, uh, plenty of pressure and you just laying your waves down like this. You want to do it the same way that you brush your hair. So on the sides, if you go straight down, go straight down. If you go at an angle, go at an angle. I kind of go from the crown and I come down like this. So you do that, you get your right side, you get the top, the back right side, then you go on the left side and do the same thing. Go in like this, get the back. This right here lays your ways down better than anything else I know. It takes the frizz out. So what you want to do, the first time you do it, just to make sure it works, brush your hair, then look in the mirror what your hair looks like. After you look in the mirror, take the bag, rub it down, and then look at your hair again, and you'll definitely see the difference that the bag does. I keep a bag with me at all times. I keep it in my pocket. So whether I'm out on a date at the movies, if I'm at, you know, some of you people, if you at work or whatnot, I keep it in my pocket. I go to the restroom, do what I got to do. Take out my bag, rub my hair down, make sure the you know it didn't start frizzing up from wherever. If you outside or in the building, just you know, brush, bring it out, lay your waves down. You're good to go. Put it back in your pocket, and that's all it is. So, plastic bag. If you're having problems with frizz, if your hair is curling up, plastic bag every night. You brush, plastic bag, 
do-rag and you're good to go. Um, I got some more videos coming so I just want to give you all that tip. I got a lot of videos that's coming with tips of things that you may not know. Um, so I just realized a lot of people didn't know about the plastic bag so I want to give you all that information. So y'all stay tuned. Uh, hopefully I can make some more videos soon and I'm out. Alright.